Dispensary opened about two hours ago in Clearwater. It's the second dispensary in our state. Fox 13's Kelly Cowan joins us live with more. So how does this work, Kelly? Yeah, it's the uh, second in the state, the first in our area, and we've already seen the first few patients come through here this morning. So basically, those patients have been seeing a doctor for at least three months or more. They have one of the qualifying conditions, and then that particular physician was able to pass a course and uh, write them in order. We're not calling them prescriptions. We're calling them in order for the products that they picked up today. So joining me right now is Jason Purnell. He's with TrueLeave. Can you just explain a little more in depth how this process works because not everybody can just walk in here and get cannabis products. Absolutely not. So the first step is the patient has to go see their physician. The physician has to diagnose them with one of the ailments. Once they're qualified, the physician enters them into the DOH patient registry. They come in and then we look them up in the DOH registry and then we're allowed to let them into the dispensary floor. And this isn't just your my, my elbow hurts or something like that. These are very serious ailments. That is correct. So uh, you have to have either cancer, severe or chronic seizures or be deemed terminally ill. Okay, and we actually have some of the products right here um, to show you guys because it is illegal to smoke marijuana even though this is technically not illegal for uh, qualifying patients. Um, some of these products contain, uh, they all contain the oil, correct? Can you just explain what we're looking at here? So you're looking actually at an extract from the plant. So we're not allowed to sell the plant in a smokable form. So we extract it into an oil, infuse it into either coconut oil or olive oil, and then dose it properly per the capsule or the oral syringe. Okay, so we have a lot of different things here. We have the capsules, which I think most people have seen a capsule before, um, just a pill, but we also have a vaporizer. We have um, mm -hmm. droplets that people can take. Why is it so important to have all of these different versions of the medication? So there are different routes of administration, and it really depends on if you're going through the body, then you do the ingestion route. If it's more for palliative care and you need immediate relief, then you do the inhalation route. Okay, and uh, I think the point being is that some patients, um, some patients, it, it won't affect them as well. For instance, if you have nausea or things like that, if you are having to ingest a pill, uh, some of these other ones, I guess, kick in a little easier. Correct. All right, well, thank you so much for the information. And Linda, I'm gonna send it back to you, but for now, we're live in Clearwater. And I know you have more tonight at five. Very interesting, thank you, Kelly.